Following the investigation in the House of Representatives over the massive flooding in several parts of Luzon due to the series of typhoons, the Senate Committee on Public Works conducted its hearing on the matter. During the hearing, the Department of Public Works and Highways, or DPWH, presented its various flood projects to avoid what happened in Marikina, Rizal, and Cagayan Valley. The DPWH said they are eyeing to finish the Pasig Marikina River Channel Improvement Project in 2026, which is currently on its fourth phase. This includes the construction of flood walls, the Mangahan Control Gate structure, Kainta Flood Gate, and Taitai Sluice Gate. Through a computer simulation imagery, the DPWH showed the effects of the project in mitigating floods should it be completed. The pula po, this signifies yung tubig baha o yung spreading out of the inundation into the neighboring communities. Two million 291 people will be affected, but with the project in place, kung atin po magagawa ito in the next six or seven years, makompleto po natin, significantly that the flood area will be reduced into 5.6 kilometers. Meanwhile, the 8-kilometer-long Paranaque Spillway project is expected to begin in 2022. According to the DPWH, the 67 billion peso project is expected to protect Muntinlupa, Bacoor, and the western portion of Laguna de Bay from massive flooding. The DPWH said the Japan International Coordinating Agency, or JICA, has already expressed support in funding the project. Meanwhile, for Cagayan River, the agency said they are now planning for the construction of 450 kilometer dike systems, cutoff channels, riverbank protection, and six additional dams. For architect and urban planner Jun Palafox, he welcomes the current progress of the DPWH, but he noted that there is lacking in the implementation of flood projects. He adds the government must also focus on green infrastructure such as tree planting and urban agriculture as a holistic approach in addressing the flood problem in the country. Palafox also noted that climate change and the lack of open spaces contribute to the worsening of floods nowadays. Hindi ho pagkulang sa pagpaplano, kulang ho sa implementation at sa at continuity. No propose in, in when I was 22 years old, ginagawa na ngayon, 70 years old na ngayon. At least, finally, may ginagawa na. Hindi lang po hard infrastructure. The, the build, 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 we should also include plant, plant, plant. And hindi lang dapat build back better. Maybe build back better, verde. If we do nothing again after this pandemic, I think some of our cities will no longer be li livable. For his part, Senator Francis Pangilinan proposes to create an Integrated Water Resource Planning and Management Council to be headed by a cabinet member who will ensure proper coordination among government agencies tasked for water management, including the release of water from dams. So now we're looking at perhaps CABSEC uh, Carlo Nograles, who can coordinate the Secretary of Public Works the Secretary of Agriculture, the NIA Administrator, the uh, DNR Secretary in terms of watershed management. At least mayroong coordination yung nag-iisip ng flood control at nag-iisip ng irrigation at yung nag-iisip ng uh, potable water, nagkakaroon sila ng pag-uusap. Hindi yung kanya-kanya, uh, 